Good morning, Lord Township, Township Elementary, Elementary Schools. Schools. Hey, I'm Jacob Bay. And I'm Joanna Bonnie. And we are sixth grade peer leaders from Sandman Consolidated, here with an SCNN very special report. We attended the New Jersey State Elks Peer Leadership Conference in Long Branch, New Jersey, with 400 other peer leaders from all over the state. This conference was about anti-bullying and loving yourself. With more on the conference, we're going to Miranda and Layla. Thanks, Jacob and Johanna. I'm Miranda Macklin here with Layla Cummings outside the convention center. We are a couple of peer leaders here at the convention center waiting to go in. Before that, we thought it would be a good idea to tell you a little about the peer leaders. Not just anyone gets to be a peer leader. We are a dedicated group of sixth grade students at Sam and Consolidated who have to be who have to complete a thorough application process. For example, to be considered for peer leaders, you have to be present in school. Also, you have to write a letter stating why you should be a peer leader and have a teacher or bus driver sign a letter state saying they verify that you are a suitable candidate for the peer leaders. Being a peer leader sounds like a tough job because it is, but we also have a lot of fun and representatives of our school. Right now, we have to get going so you can hear more about the convention and the people that are representing it. Hi, I'm Taj Turner here with Braden Burjikowski to talk to you about Kelsey Tinge, who was a world champion weightboarder and also a child actor. However, when she was 15, she had a stroke. She was paralyzed in the right side of her body. She went from a regular girl to someone who is now seen as different. But Kelsey didn't see her situation as a disability. She saw it as an opportunity to help. But it was a tough road for her to turn her weakness into a strength. With more on the lesson we learned from Kelsey, here are Allison and Eliana. Thanks, Taj and Brayden. Kelsey began her talk by having the peer leaders participate by sharing their experiences, which brought out connections between the members of the audience. She did this because Kelsey always hid her differences, which cut her off from making friends. What helped Kelsey change her attitude was her family. They were the ones who pushed her to do activities that were out of her comfort zone. This eventually led Kelsey to come out of her shell more and think more about her happiness and feelings and less about what other people thought of her. And in the end, the message that we took home with us from Kelsey is you should embrace your differences instead of hiding them. Embrace the differences of others and kindness matters. So if you see someone who isn't included or a little different, be brave and make an effort to include them because you'll build their confidence and make their day better. With more on the other speaker at the Peer Leadership Conference is Kyle, Liam, Regan, and Marissa. Thanks, Allison, Desiree, and Eliana. Let's shift over to the second speaker of the day, Dr. Claudia Cerullo. His message was different from Kelsey's because he focused on the effects of bullying and how to notice if someone is being bullied. Kids who are bullied don't always talk about it, so Regan, what are some signs of bullying that we can look out for? Yes, Marissa, we might not see people being bullied, but there are some warning signs. If the person seems unusually sad or if a person suddenly starts to act differently, these might be some signs that they are being bullied. The, effect of bullying are, the effects of bullying aren't always scratches and bruises, so we need to pay attention to how people act. Thanks, Shagan. That's some important information to keep in mind of. Now over to Liam and Kyle with some strategies when it comes to handling bullying. Thanks, Marissa. Dr. Shirello spoke about the differences between me, between being a bystander and an upstander. A bystander is someone who sees something wrong but doesn't do anything about it. An upstander takes action when they know something that isn't right. You don't want to be the person who sees something wrong and doesn't help. So if you see so someone being an upstander say something to a teacher or an adult like your mom or dad, they'll know what to do. Or if you see someone acting different than normal, talk to them. See if they will tell you if something is bothering them. An important thing to take away from this is to make sure no one gets hurt. Thanks for watching our special report. And remember, kindness matters. Embrace our differences. And be another standard. Scott, see beautiful. We stars and we're beautiful.